Mehwish says, what is the procedure if one forgets to make sujood sahu due to some mistake or addition in prayer and has concluded his prayer but realized they forgot to make sujood sahu First of all, sujood sahu what does it mean? It means prostration of forgetfulness. And when is it performed? The answer is when you forget something that is mandatory in prayer or you add something that is mandatory, which you're not supposed to add it, or you forget a pillar during prayer, but you reconcile and catch up with it, make it up in the same prayer, or you add something to the prayer that is not part of it, with the exception of sunnah. So raising the hand is a sunnah. If someone, while going to sujood, he raises his hands, he added something that is not part of the sunnah. Does he offer sujood as sahu? The answer is no. Why? Because it's a sunnah. Going back to Mehwish questions. If a person forgot to, to sit for the first tashahud, after the second rak'ah, at the end, one's supposed to sit for at-tahiyyatu lillahi wa salawatu wa tayyibat, and then stands for the third rak'ah. A person forgot to sit and say the tashahud and stood up for the third rak'ah, whether it's a maghrib or any other rak'ah, any other prayer. And then he realized after he stood up that he did not sit for the tashahud. Of course, he cannot go back and sit again. Why? Because sitting is obligatory. Standing for the third rak'ah is a pillar. You do not leave a pillar for something that is obligatory. It was forgotten. Continue your prayer. So the person continues his prayer. At the end, he offers the tahiyyat and the salutation upon the Prophet ﷺ. Just before salam, because he missed the first tashahud, he is supposed to offer two prostrations of forgetfulness. What to say in them? The normal, Subhana Rabbi al-A'la, or Subhana Rabbi al-A'la wa bihamdi. Nothing extra. So, he finishes all of this, but before he performs the sujood, he forgets it. And he offers salam. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Now, Mihwish says, what is the procedure if one forgets to make sujood as sahu If one forgets to make sujood as sahu if the gap is short, so now you're sitting, you subhanallah, alhamdulillah, Allahu Akbar, ayat al-kursi, you're still sitting in your prayer position, and you remember. Then the gap is short. You can offer the sujood as sahu and offer salam again, and that's it. Your prayer is, is valid and complete. So how do we measure this gap by minutes? Is it 60 seconds? Is it a couple of minutes? Is it five minutes? It is a gap even if you spoke to the one next to you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. How it's going? What's happening? Shit chatting and then you remember. No problem. Prostrate. But if you leave the masjid, or after like 15, 20 minutes, you forgot, you took a nap, you reached home. In this case, your prayer would be valid. And forgetting the sujood as sahu or the prostration of forgetfulness, would, you would be exempted from it, alhamdulillah. And there's nothing for you else to do.